Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. I welcome to our YouTube channel. The goal of my YouTube channel is to make home cooking as part of your daily routine uh, so you can cook every day, uh, make it a viable alternative to fast and ultra processed food uh, using my fast cooking system, which is flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking. Now, using the fast cooking system, uh, you can cook almost any type of dishes that you would like. Uh, in this case, I just recently cooked a dish that is a tofu dish that with Argentinian red shrimp, uh, as well with eggplants, broccoli, shiitake mushroom, white mushroom, ginger, and scallions. Uh, this provides you with the flexibility uh, to cook the dish that adjusts to the flavor that you love and enjoy. And once you are able to achieve that, then cooking becomes sustainable. Now, this video, I would like to demonstrate to you the use of this Argentinian red shrimp. Uh, it is a shrimp that with a distinct flavor. It is a wild caught shrimp. And the nice thing about this shrimp is that it is individually frozen. So you can thaw it out in some running cold water in about five minutes. So now you are ready to cook. And this is what makes home cooking flexible. The ability to cook anything that you want and with the fast cooking system, you can make it simple and straightforward. I want to cook this dish in my Cucina 14-inch stainless steel wok. And this is my everyday wok. And this wok provides me with the convenience as well as the flexibilities of being able to use in all different type of cooking functions. So the end result is that uh, this wok alone will satisfy almost all your cooking needs. In fact, almost 99% uh, all of my cooking are performed in this wok, and this will make your home cooking much simpler. Simplicity is essential to make home cooking sustainable because you want to be able to cook with spontaneity and intuition. The most important thing about home cooking is efficiency because in the modern lifestyle, most people have only about 30 minutes to cook a meal. When you're able to have efficiency, you will be able to cook almost any time you want and from that standpoint, it is truly an important aspect of how modern home cooking can be sustainable. So when you combine advanced prepping and stir frying, it provides a formula to create the most efficient cooking system. Now in this case, the first ingredients that I'm going to cook is some eggplant. Now again, as you notice that I already have the eggplant in my advanced prepping and I can use whatever amount that you want. In here, I use a method referred to as sequential stir frying. I'm going to cook the eggplant first. And this is what makes stir frying such a flexible cooking technique because you can combine many different types of ingredients uh, together to make a single dish. All you have to do is that you stir fry the ingredients that it will take longer uh, first, and then you gradually add other ingredients to this dish. So after I stir fry the eggplant for about 30 to 40 seconds, uh, I add some shiitake mushroom. This shiitake mushroom uh, is a dry form that has been hydrated, and it's a shiitake mushroom known as a flower shiitake mushroom. And then I'm going to add some to broccoli. Again, the broccoli is available in my advanced prepping. I can add whatever amount that I want, and since I have them already prepped, uh, I can use them in many different types of dishes. And this allows you to use different combinations of vegetables. And you can use a large array of different types of vegetables in a single dish. Not only make the dish taste better, but it also provides much greater nutritional value. And this is what makes home cooking so special. And this is what also makes advanced prepping such a useful approach. Uh, I add a little bit more oil, and then I add the ginger. Now, the minced ginger is to provide great flavor to the dish. And for people who like ginger, this is probably the best way to add ginger to a dish. Now, it comes the shrimp. Now, this shrimp is a very special type of shrimp. And the flavor is very delicate as compared to farm-raised shrimp. This shrimp is wild caught. However, cooking this shrimp uh, requires a little bit more care uh, because once you overcook them, the shrimp will not taste the way how you would like it to be. The next ingredient I'm going to add is some white mushroom. Again, you notice that the order I add all those ingredients depend on very much how long I want to cook them. If I want to cook the ingredients longer, I add them earlier during the cooking process. At this 
sequential cooking method. It's extremely valuable for combining different type of ingredients together. The next actually is the final ingredients I'm going to add uh, is some tofu. Now this is a firm tofu and I cut them into small cubes. This will allow it to fit better to the dish. And it's also make e eating the tofu much easier. Another advantage of cooking, cooking the tofu into this cube is that uh, it will coat it with uh, sauces and it will make the tofu taste better. After I add the tofu, I stir all the ingredients much less rigorously because I do not want to break up the tofu. Now there are many different ways to season this dish. I'm going to season it the way that I find it the simplest, which is to use oyster sauce, which is a very flexible sauce that it can fit many different type of food ingredients. And most of the time, I only use a small amount of oyster sauce. It's more to enhance the natural flavor of the ingredients. I do not want to overwhelm the ingredients uh, with a heavy sauce. Particularly, I have these ingredients that are fresh and have wonderful flavor themselves. I also add some the Xiaoxing cooking wine. Now, Xiaoxing cooking wine is especially good with shrimp. Shrimp go well with uh, this cooking wine and give the shrimp much better flavor. Again, the idea is to enhance the natural flavor of the shrimp. After the taste testing, I like the dish to be a little bit sweeter, so I add some hoisin sauce. Hoisin sauce, again, like oyster sauce, has a relatively mild flavor, but it is great for uh, enhancing the flavor of the ingredients in this dish. In this case, by adding hoisin sauce, I add a little bit sweetness as well as umami flavor to the dish. And of course, you can add sugar as well, but the hoisin sauce will create much complex flavor to the dish. Now the dish is almost done and the total cook time of this dish is only about six to seven minutes. As you can see a dish like this with all the complex ingredients in the dish, it provides excellent flavor. Now the key of home cooking is that to able to create the flavor that you will enjoy. Now in this dish, the tofu is requested by my wife and she loves tofu and she also want to eat more tofu for nutritional reasons. Now I am have not been a big fan of tofu most of my life and in the past my tofu dish is always spicy. However, neither one of us likes spicy food that much anymore. We find it more difficult to tolerate the spiciness and our stomach just do not agree uh, with spiciness any better than what we used to be. So the end result is that we are now try other method for seasoning the dish. And we discover that in order to get the right flavor for the tofu, the type of ingredients that you use uh, in creating the dish is very important. For example, ginger plays a significant role in enhance the flavor of the dish. Xiaoxing wine also enhance the flavor of the tofu. Hoisin sauce and oyster sauce play their own role as well. But the eggplant, the broccoli, uh, both of them add great flavor to the dish. Of course, the mushroom, the shiitake mushroom and the white mushroom. So as you can see that in order for you to create the type of flavor that you love, you need to experiment with different ingredients. And there's no better way to experiment with ingredients other than using the fast cooking system where template based cooking in combination of advanced prepping allow you to have many ingredients to choose from and with flavor chasing, uh, you have the opportunity to adjust the flavor exactly how you like it. So the final ingredients I'm going to add is some scallions. Scallions, I always have some on hand because scallion can enhance um, the both give I providing more texture, uh, onion flavor to the dish, but it also provide excellent uh, visual uh, appeal uh, by adding some green color to the dish. So as you can see that um, we enjoy cooking our dinner every night. And in fact, all the dish that I show in this video are the dish that I cook for our dinner. It is not something that I uh, put together specifically for the video. But the main point is that I want to demonstrate to you it's possible for you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine. So if you're interested in the fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.